Okay, yeah, that fixed it. Uh, whatever was going on anyway, I, I fixed it, as far as I can tell. Listen. Yeah. Back to normal. Hmm. Ah, that was a very weird bug. Ow. But, I'm gonna close that. Goodbye. Uh... A burp. <laughs> so the next 12 hours is just going to be like this. Weird. That means I have to, like, stare at the webcam. What do I stare at now? Normally, I just kind of, like, see the game screen? I don't know what to look at. Huh. Hello. Hi, guys. That is me, Mr. Zyros. Stare directly in the lens. So instead of, like, staring at the screen, I can just do this the entire time. I'll try to play the game while I'm doing that. We'll see how well this goes. I'll just keep staring directly at the webcam. Same time. I feel like this is gonna get me killed at some point. Yeah, I can't do that for too long. <laughs> the mug didn't hit the head. Oh, that's because it's a little bit smaller. Bald! He's bald! Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh. Ah! Is that shiny? If you like, look right here. Was it that shine spot? Bald. Oh wow! It kept the hype train going from when I had the stream open just a second ago too. I think that's actually the craziest part of this. There's someone. Yeah, bro. Looking for the noise that's coming from this one though. Up there. Whoop. Yeah, bro. Knock knock on the bald head fellow ball BRO. There. Business, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the hourglass twins. Mind the sand now. Hornfells asked me to update our star chart, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. Weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye on or four on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. On something. Uh, how do I know I've spotted a supernova? How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? On a scale of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awfully pretty though. Right now, sand is flowing from ash twin to ember twin. But did you know the process actually eventually reverses? I'm not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. So if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin. Once a little more of its sand drains off, I promise you won't be disappointed. Watch out for falling sand, okay. I've had to dig myself out once or twice, and that's not half as fun as it sounds. So there's something that happens from with the other planet when it loses more of its sand. Where's the other planet? Oh, there it is. Hello, other planet. Let's let's go check it out then. Because I know that this planet eventually fills up with sand, so I guess sand just goes back and forth between the two. I wonder what that's about. Hello, sandy planet. And we love sand, of course. Not like Anakin Skywalker. I'm not afraid of your sand. No. Oh, look! Yeah, like look at that thing. What is this? It's a huge column of sand. That's pretty cool. And accidentally get sucked into the sun. Oh, is this a thing? This is the top of a thing. This is the top of a thing. Hey, there's a teleporter in there. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, move out of the way of that. This was broken. 
can't get in there then. It's broken. Hey, that thing's broken. Hey, Drennel. Hi, everybody. At the other side? You mean to this? This is the story of... Some time has passed since I checked in with you. Hi. How are you and Nadea progressing? Progressing? Progressing with the Sun Station plans. Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. The way it'll explode. Hi, you know I don't find that funny. I do. I found it funny. Curious. Rami thinks I'm a gas. I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation today. I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this. I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station will be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis about Yaro. That at least we can agree on. There's a thing over there, and then there's obviously all the porcupine literally everywhere in here. Can I get around them? Yes. Hard up. Have to be careful, I mean. Okay. Oh. I wanna go over there. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Ah, the poking. The poking. I want to go back in there. There has to be something over there. For the game to do something like that. And actually kind of protect it. That's by folks. I can't believe we got poked to death. But now I'm curious. <gasps> oh, let me curious. Also, you guys are going to love the thing that I have to show off later. Or you might find it aggravating. I don't know. I thought it was fun. It's a little goofy, but it's gonna be fun. And I'm not gonna say at all anything about it. I would like to go back over here, please. Yes. Thank you. And now I get to just chill. Good old autopilot. How are you guys doing? Hello, chat. This is gonna be the longest that I've sat here like this, other than the Resident Evil Village stream that I did. That I was pretty much on webcam the entire time, but that was more just so people could see my lack of reaction to the game trying to scare me. That was different. Oh, I'm looking the wrong way. Undershot target wave. Where is it? Hello. I have arrived once more. I would like to go over here, though. How many sticks to redeem for Zyro staring directly into the webcam for a minute? Oh, is that the the Sun Station thing that they were talking about? Whoop. That, that seems dangerously close to the sun. I would not recommend going there. This. Well, it's just full of sand, so if I try to go down that, it won't matter. Hey, oh, this planet just sand. Probably just stick around for a while though. It'll probably go away. Yeah, that sun station looks scary though. Hi, Dusk. I hope you're doing well too. But like, landing on it? Is that what the achievement is? Actually being able to go to the sun station? That seems like it'd be difficult. Where's the sand pillar? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm assuming that if you try to get too close to it, that you know, it's gravity and everything, you'll get sucked in. 
I assume it would be a very frustrating. And Let's not get hit by the sand. I just want to stick around here and see what happens. Another base game achievement I need is beating the game in one loop. Look, look guys. We are discovering. Isn't that cool? I don't know, I think that's a cool thing. It's just like slowly going down. Going down, down. Down, down, down. Also, if anyone types in the uh, exclamation point Annie, they'll see the Google form that I put in Discord. If anyone else wants to fill that out, because I will be reading those out loud. I don't have to sign it, but if you want to fill it out and just write something nice about other people here, go for it, because that's what the whole for your anniversary and every anniversary that I do is all about. It's just about appreciating the people who like to hang out and enjoy the, the streams who come by all the time. That's what matters most, is enjoying the experience of having other people here. And enjoying the community. And enjoying this comet. Hey, what are you doing? Do 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 do. If there's anything else on here where I just assume that that's the only building. Building. Do 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 do. Do 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 Mine's thinking of lots of Christmas songs for some reason, I don't know why. Well there's two. There's whatever this is. Very operable. That again. I could definitely see this game giving people motion sickness. What on earth is this? What this place? Hey, Summer. Where am I? In my suit. I can't go in there that way. You silly Billy. No, it's just that. Where is it? This one? I don't see right either. Whoa. I'm just going back to the same thing right now. Hold on. Captain. We appear to be lost. We. I just like backed up just a teeny bit. There it is. This thing. Hey, yo, what's this? Like a a bridge. Is this also a building? Here. 
Uh oh. Hey. Kill me. Okay, here. Bye, ship. Been while it lasted. Goes the ship. Another one over here, too. Friends visiting from the Hanging City. We are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Twin Ember Twin's equator. I became lost in Ember Twin. My gratitude is that Ramley found me. The High Energy Lab is the building of a large solar panel. As I can see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Conway loses his head if it weren't anatomically possible. Oh. Ow. That was my bad. Do you think if I just stand here, it'll teleport me somewhere? Because it did that when we were on that other thing. Just stood here and it went whoop and just took me away. So. Why not? I say we do it for science. What do I have to lose? My time? Eh. Deal. For science. For glory. Plus our ship is just sort of gone, so... I understand why you guys are doing the two colon eyes, two colon smiles faces, because it's supposed to be four eyes. I get it. You guys on to you. These eyes and these eyes see you. Considering the game, your time, and your life are refundable, so your dignity. I would have to have dignity for that to work. I know it's high read. Gas planet. Oh, the sand's coming back again. Um, uh, maybe I should move for a second. Safe here. Sand can't hurt me. person who dressed up as Miku. I have an idea. Go forward. Gotta go fast! Go fast. Go forward when the sand comes? Sure. You try that. Okay. Where'd that- wait, where'd my scroll go? Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Well, I didn't need that anyway. How did I meet my sub goal already? Um, Shadati gave me one sub. And then Aix did another four. It was amazing. So I hit my sub goal. Uh, all other proceeds will now go towards the rebranding of the channel. Sixty-hour stream? No, it's a twelve-hour stream. Wait, where's my? I have that, but I... where's my scout? Scout doesn't want to work. I don't believe it's you, smile. Yeah, there's my scout. Hello. 
Why didn't one work earlier? That's so weird. Go, scout. I'm gonna go. I guess those purple things don't do anything. It's weird because the other one teleported me somewhere. I figured it would do the same thing there. Maybe if I go there earlier? Forget my launch codes. Also, hi, Waba. Does? Well, let's go back. Heck, if that sends me somewhere, we're gonna find out. Come here, you. Once the sand gets there, not just not red as the sand gets there. So how does this teleporter work exactly? Oh. Someone else wants to explain how this works because we know it teleports me, we just I mean I just don't know how. Can't say we, me. There's something I'm missing. Cause we use that other teleporter, and that's why I know that these purple ones teleport you to places. And under where you go for the scroll, once the sand appears, walk forward on the teleporter. Not too soon. Sounds awfully strangely specific, but okay. Thank you, Tanwin. Yeah, good to see me, literally. I know. See my face? Let me smushing my face. Uh, I mean to never do that again. Face. The final frontier. Hope your mom feels better, Kaya. Hi, I'm Chucky. I thought I and changed I'm your that. Friend to the end. Why is it still Chucky? RPGs gifted a tier one no. Hi, I'm Here, Chucky. For the five gift and subs. I'm your friend to the end. Gerber underscore Aww. RPGs gifted a tier one like. sub to Astro uh, Viraga. Hi, I'm Chucky. Uh, and I'm your friend to the end. See all the silly Gerber underscore uh, RPGs gifted a tier one Hi. sub to Avalia. Hi, I'm Chucky. And I'm your friend to the end. Gerber underscore RPGs gifted a tier one sub to Pimpy, short stocking. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Gerber underscore RPGs gifted a tier one sub to Layella. 
I appreciate that very much, though. Thank you, Jer. Yay! So happy I could roll around in the sand right now. Woohoo! Ow. Oh. Got in the way. Probably better to let him figure it out than post the solution if you're worried about spoilers. Well, the problem is I'm not too worried about them. Because if I know how the thing is supposed to work, then I don't mind. One thing we saw is that, yes, this thing does indeed teleport me. Because we used one uh, from the black hole station. Not uh, from the white hole station. I got sent there. On accident. Accident. And it took me all the way over here. We're not here, but to the, the black hole station. If he has one hair on the back of his head. I mean, I do have some hair. Like, there, there is hair there. See? Just all Otherwise, because I get it shaved down. Otherwise, I'd have a terrible hairline. It would look nasty. Okay, Chip. Uh, I'm trying to think where I can put you where you won't fly away. I'm gonna just... I like the bald. I like the bald. It looks, trust me, it looks much better than if, if, if I let it stick out. Um, oh, you. Nice. The final frontier. Nice. Nice. It is. Bro, I don't know how I played this before, because... I don't feel like I get motion sick often, but no, why? Why does it feel like it's making me more sickly? Like, ooh. Eww. Okay, the ship can stay here. I don't know how safe that is for the ship. Frankly, my dear. Potato. And it's still kind of going down. Has it gone down nearly enough? Nars has the facial structure to make bald work. How about now? Exactly, it's two weeks since last I played this game and I have a shared attention span. Shared attention span. I wasn't getting motion sick until you said something. Just try not to pay attention to the fact that we're moving around a lot. Also, it's kind of why I do this with my head while I'm moving in this game because otherwise I think like I would get sick. Whoa. 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 I think the sand will kill me. Yep. Yep. Will, will the sand kill me? Or are we cool? Yep. Yep, what do you think? Does my ship think? Oh, ship. I feel safe with you. So the side with the scroll. So this one. Not that one. This one. Get out. Get out of the ship. Warp status charged. Step onto warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Return warp. Oop. Well, that's. Thank you. So I can do the same thing on this side then? Assuming that this would work, then. It has to do something. Why wouldn't it?
Wait, but where'd the ship go now? Ship. Oh, snap. The ship is... Hi, Blushy. Happy four years. Thank you. I hope you're having a great day today. I know normally I had my VTuber model up, but someone hit my one sub goal of streaming for 12 hours and then also streaming with my webcam up just because I was like, why not? People can see how emotive I get. Um, so I don't think we're getting back to the ship. That's just me saying that, but pretty far. Would anyone like to go those 600 meters to get me my ship? Just swim through space. I think not. Oh, oh what? Hazard. Out. Um. Out. What'd you find? I understand. Sometimes the art is a lot to go live with. Eh. I like doing this for like special occasions. What the heck did you find? Base whales that eat plants whole. <laughs> if there's anything that actually tries to eat me in this game, I will probably have like a little bit of a meltdown. Whoa. Hello? Who the heck are we? 12 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module. Giant steep memory statue. Timber memory statue. 10 minutes 27 seconds ago. Received data from previous cycles. Oh, this sends back all the data from the other cycles. Okay. Oh, and these are the things I've been seeing. Okay. Bro, this is so crazy looking. Can I get oxygen? Oh, I have oxygen. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twain. Here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all some terrain plants we might met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiment at the High Energy Lab, I still can hardly believe Remy's hypothesis was true. Hope just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ashwin can be connected with Giant Steep, where Kasava is working with Avens to craft the Orville Probe Cannon, Lox is sculpting the statue. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Do I need this warp thing? Words could have been forged faster if Casava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask him for updates. The important point is we are all connected through Ashtwin now, and also that I'm no longer needed to be communicating agreements. Our friends on Giants Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me that the cannon is doing well and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. Then, if anyone can. Go to device into exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, as love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? I got us. Imagine if. Oh, we already read that. Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashtwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before shut down the project. Hi and today I have worked hard on the sun station and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned with structure, oh, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ashwood project requires. Look, sun. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. Are you reading like cave paintings? I'm reading uh, translations from uh, some of these things that the uh, characters, these Nomai people, have left to like research and things like that. Brittle Hollow. I have good news, Yaro. The war advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ashton. 
I'm intrigued, love everyone here working on the Ashwin project. It's exciting to see it. Not with the ambient music. It's loud. Why is beside herself with joy? No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Of course, durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Hope is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design works beautifully clever. Oh, good. It went quiet. Well, at least quieter. It was loud. My gratitude for the latest shipment, no, I know. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine? My work here is complete. I'd be delighted to help. I think I've read this before. Yeah, I've read this one before. Yeah, I've read this one before. I remember that now. Go over there. About this one. Installed the masks inside the Ashton project. I think I've read these before. Yeah. yeah I've read that before too. Okay. We're nearly ready to activate the Ashton project. Here's what will happen. First the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. The energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashton project will send the order for the orbital space can to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Oh, okay. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data to cannon launch back in time. Total, each cycle created by the Ashman Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ashman Project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. Supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. Is easier expressed than accomplished. And wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Adea. But you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. The comet has newly arrived in the solar system. And we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Is that the, uh, that interloper? Comet? Right? Oh, ad. Thank you. Thank you for throwing something at me so I could tell that there was an ad. Helpful thing. I wouldn't have known otherwise. That's why throwing things at me is nice. I was just so caught up in what I was reading. I'm like, Son, what, what is going on in this game now? It's been a very interesting time. I like it. Oh, hold on. You guys see what's right behind me? That pillow up there? Eh? See my pillow? Right. I sleep with Nicolas Cage every night. Rumor, please. Are, are we free to continue? Or am I still stuck in limbo? Limbo. Streamer, say hello, streamers. Hello, streamer. Lucky for them, they didn't hear him declaring love for a damn Nicolas Cage pillow. What do you mean? You're right there.
Hi. Okay, welcome back. First of all, look at my Nicolas Cage pillow. Okay, we're going to continue. Sorry, I was just caught up in, like, reading everything, so I didn't even notice the ads were going on. So, thank you for letting me know about that. Oh, what is that? We'll check it out in a second. Removing the core will disable the Ashwin project. You're about to access the core while the Ashwin project is active. Caution. Artificial gravity control. Oh. Up there. Oh. Hey. I feel like I need to mess with this, huh? we do with it? I'm gonna ask, where the heck is the ship? A ship. Ship. You like it? Hope you read that warning. Oh, I read the warning! It's been so long in there though that the supernova is about to happen. Ow. Dig the music, but I know the planets are going to explode soon and just destroy us all. This looks weird. Anything on the surface? Nice and empty. And these holes.
place is weird. I not like how foggy it is. I think we're done. I'm not. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. That's. That light? These are giant angler fish, huh? Well, this game was fun. Yes. Space fish. Yes, it's my phobia. That's not fish. It's anything that's giant like that that looks like it could eat us. Is like a massive phobia for me. I'm gonna need a second. Oh boy. Uh I hate pictures of deep sea fish. This, oh, see pictures of deep sea fish. I'm fine with. It's just like anything in that looks like it could actually like eat me. Like that is terrifying. Uh, that's that's why like every time people like play Subnautica, hoo 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 hoo, I'm like I'm gonna put it at a goal that's almost impossible for us to reach. It is actually like. My biggest fear. One second. The sub goal Subnautica 20,000 subs. Yeah, if we hit 20,000 subs, I will play Subnautica. It's just like even a glimpse of that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Like, I don't know how they're gonna operate either, and I, don't, I just don't want to deal with it. I'll just float. Slowly. I will drift. Hi, <laughs> Oceano. I'll go through with it. I don't like it, but I'll do it.
What's that noise? I don't think I could do that. That is too unsettling for me. Oh. Credits. Look, I think we're done. Oh, we died. <sighs> that made me eat my phone almost. Bruh. Just hearing the noise of something like that behind me. I could hear something. Like, as I tried to go a little bit faster, I could just hear, like, make these weird noises. And I was like, okay, we're dead. At least I didn't see it actually look at us. Oh, it's because we took out the, the core from the, the Ash Twin project. That's why it didn't loop, because that was what was keeping it from looping. It was causing it to loop constantly. But we took out the thing that was causing it to loop. Zyros Glam. Thank you, Clef. play any horror game but if it involves anything like that it is a huge gap like it is a massive hurdle for me thank you for playing outer wilds thank you for putting in my giant fear the baby from resident evil 8 the baby from resident evil 8 yeah pretty much the same vibe it's why i can't speed run it because i have a huge fear of that so even though i know i can outrun it and i know how to get past the baby Thought of having to run that segment over and over again? That would be too like anxious for me. The previous save, huh? Zyros is scared of children? No, Zyros is afraid of things that could potentially, like, in a game, eat me. That scares the ever-living daylights out of me. Like, even, like, looking at something like that, and the fact that they put it in a spot that's just filled with fog, and it's just, of course, it's angular fish, because all you see is that little light. And just knowing that that's all you can see is terrifying. So if people are able to get through that, like, kudos to you, but, like, I would need someone to do that for me. I... Credits aren't the same when you beat the game, only credits to make me cry. Oh. Really not worth putting yourself through something like that. It is not. Load the previous save. Haha. <laughs> Wake up. I was eaten by a giant fish. How'd that happen? Oh wait, we wouldn't run for that. <laughs> and I figured when you were telling me just Noom that it wouldn't work. Because, I mean, anglerfish... Normally, it's, oh, if you follow the light, they'll, you know, go after you. That's how anglerfish work. <laughs> A lot of people are very put off by the anglerfish. Can they change the anglerfish to something not anglerfish? And can it just be like a clown? Can it be a giant clown nose in the sky? I'd be a-okay with that. As long as it doesn't actually eat me. 
Fly ship in the clown nose, massive honk. Yeah, exactly. Get a massive honk. Honk. Honk it. Hey. This. Yeah, look, this is just that more of that same area. And there's the anglerfish. Oh my god. Why? No, but if I was here first and I did something like that and I saw that, I would probably just go, haha, I'm never going there ever. You know what? Hey, hey there, little buddy. Hi. Look, it's me. There are trees growing on its mouth. I'm pretty sure that one was dead. Like, look here, let's throw that in there again. But if you looked at it, when I went past it, there was a fireplace in there. Right? Like... See that? There's like a fireplace. In that mouth. Right? Yeah, that's dead. That's a carcass. Man, that's just so unsettling. Whew. Well, I had fun with this game. And then they tried to make me do something like that. See, it can't hurt you. It literally just ate me. <laughs> it just ate me. See, I know it can't hurt me, but it's the fact that going through it is just so... See, if it was massive spiders, I'd be cool with it. A giant fish looking thing? Like, no. Didn't I even mention when I was on Giant's Deep that if anything in there tried to kill me, I'd be traumatized because it was all ocean? You weren't afraid of getting eaten by a black hole. Ah, the black hole's different. The black hole doesn't have teeth. Also, I could be a big sucker. Game right, get some speed and pay. Pay attention only to chat. Yeah, crab tops for all. Oh my god, I'm going too fast. A happy Annie tilde. Hey bear. Oh, thank you. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's introduce them to the sun. I'm going to turn off volume, so I can't hear the game. And all space exploration games just have friendly robots and fluffy unicorns, please. The game is neat, but also, holy crap, some of those things scare me. Yeah. Same. The idea of this. Get in there, little buddy. You have to go and make things so frightening. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to go back in there because I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, yeah. 
Dina, baby. I hate this. 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 I absolutely hate this. this. Hate this so much. Yes, I do. That red dot, anyway. There's one. Okay, I can't hear anything. What am I gonna do? There's, there's the signal. Maybe if I just fly towards the signal, I'll be okay. I'll just let that go, and I'm just not gonna look at the game. You guys keep saying like, oh yeah, you just, you know, just rust and then go and you're, you're good. Looks like that's my destination over that way. Okay, well, let's find out. God. And rush. Gently. And now I'm not looking. Anymore. I'm just gonna look over here. I'm even gonna have my hand up there so I can't see the game. And away we go. Hear anything? All I can do is just gently fly through space now. Uh. Oh, we're gonna run into something. I'm glad you're happy that we have the face cam on for this. It's fine at the moment at least. Oh hey, yeah, for now. I think I can't tell him I don't want to tell. Fishies you actually like? Yes, ones that can't eat me. I think I can just go forward now. Oh, that's a lot more dots. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Fog definitely makes this worse.
We're gonna die. Just don't die. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> oh my god. Nicholas Cage pillows a shield. No. Nicholas Cage cannot be used in this way. Keep doing this. This is supposed to be like a happy haha -ha game. What is this? Like mystery and wonder. Why does it have to have this? Mysteries are scary. Yeah, they are. Oh, that's just the duplicate thing. That's not good. Where do we go now? Where do I go now? Telling me I went the wrong way. Can I go through this? We are very lost. I very much do not appreciate being here.
just me? Or is it saying that if I go through that, it'll make it? Okay. Heck's not listening again. Heck's not looking again. Go ahead. Violently go through it. So how's everybody doing today? I'm stuck. Summer is hot, yes. Dude, I hate it here. I absolutely hate this. I am extremely stressed. People can watch the ads right now. I'm not pausing just to sit here and wait to see what happens. They can wait. Thank you, Kuro. And I wish I had like a heart monitor on right now. You guys, my heart's going absolutely bonkers. Are not easy to deal with. No, they are not. They are not. Where'd you come from? No one's come here in, well, ever, actually. That makes you the second heart scene to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Hey, it's you. They made you, they made you an astronaut. You haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Well, Spar, you're alive. Remember, we're the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Camping out here since my ship, but, you know, crashed violently. Crashed? I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. My story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant Steam and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble. Things no one had ever been here before. Getting around a Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. You dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with horns. You dodged them all. But after a while, I run into this huge anglerfish. You've seen them. The big gnarly things. And this was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me and knocks me into the vine. Well, like I said, I crash. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, I think. Oh, 
That ain't great. Fair enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. Parking. The move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor pride ship. Camped out near where I crashed at first. Found the skeleton later. Great find. Wouldn't have, would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds here ever since. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Ashley. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere's good. But you should know that space is weird here intensely. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of these weird seeds? See there with the little opening? It's big enough to launch one through. Oh. And there goes time. Spent that entire time just getting through that spot. Do I do it again? No, I don't. You can say that this is where this journey ends because there's. It, it is just way too much for me. I. I do not feel comfortable with that. Like, I just absolutely do not feel comfortable. Just, just once, just once, I'm gonna just see what happens if I just hit accelerate and just go. And just gun it. Uh, you can see the discomfort on your face, yeah. Oi. Gun it all the way just at the start. Gun it! Lord, Mr. Krabs. Where's the sun? Oh. Hey, uh, autopilot, let's not, let's not do that. If you're hating it, then don't do it. Oh no, I just want to see what happens. This is science. Science! I have now shaved off at least 15 years from my life doing this. It'd be great if the fish weren't there to begin with. Why'd the fish have to even be there? Could've just made it spooky lights. You don't have to put fish at the end of this. There's been like nothing that's tried to kill me in this game, like in terms of like hostile creatures. Why this? Why? Why Nunu? Why? Okay, we're just gonna see what happens if we floor it. Ready? Three. Two. One. Whee. Okay, now I'm not gonna look. Someone throws something at me when it's over. Run away! Run away! Hi, Jesse. Oh, God. Yeah, we're here and I can't look at it because it scares the ever living daylights out of me. Hi. It resets your momentum when you transition. Super slowly. You're in my nightmares. Both of our nightmares, man. Jesse, have you played this before? Just fog? It is not just fog. It is not just fog. It's that. It's that right there. Okay. Okay. You guys have fun. I'm not looking at the screen.
Proclaim when it's over. Okay. Can we all agree that I, I can stop now? Oh, hi guys. How are you doing? I have no idea what's happening. Terror, terror is happening. I played a bit. Yeah, I remember this area. Dude, I can't go through that area at all. Sing a funny song? Normally that's what I do to like calm my nerves when I'm doing something that I find scary, but that's too much for me. That is my biggest phobia. I am not touching that. I'm sending you the bill for dry cleaning. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Like, normally, I'd... I'd I get through it, but if I can't see what I'm doing and there's just so many variables and the strategy is just hold forward. I don't feel safe doing that. That That's like telling someone, hey, dude, you're afraid of the ocean. There's some giant fish down there. Just swim. No. Well, that's the first thing I've seen in this game. This game is beautiful, Shaylin, except that part. <laughs> It's freaking terrifying, but hello, everybody. Thank you for the raid, Jesse. Uh, I'm doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate hitting uh, four years of streaming. Woohoo! Great to see you guys. And that's exactly what someone told Jesse in Subnautica. <sighs> Dude, there's a reason why I make the Subnautica stream goals so incredibly, like, crazy for my community, just because... It would actually drive me crazy to play it. Bad. <laughs> that was that was fun though. Like the other planets. Oh, I loved it. It was beautiful. The game's gorgeous. That no, no. Anyway, I I had something fun I wanted to show you guys. You're all gonna love this. Makes you feel better. It gets worse than what you saw. What do you mean it gets worse? How did they get, did they get, did they get laser guns? Did they suddenly just get like harpoon tongues? Is it a dick crap top? That's pretty bad. See, cause for me, guys, the, the fear comes from giant things that can eat me. It's not just that, it's anything. It's like a, a giant. Giants are scary to me. Sort of. Not as much. It's just a sea creature. You can't really move as fast in this game. You can't really do much. But you go to the red light, things actually start to get scary. I hey, ran. There's a mod to remove them. There's a mod to remove the fish? Really? There's, there's a mod to remove the fish. I'll, I'll finish this as there's a mod to remove the fish. <laughs> remove fish from game. Make game playable. There's a mod to remove the fish. It removes the angler fish. 